So sorry it's been so long since I've posted a video. But I've got something to show off for you guys. haven't even worn them yet. I've had them for about a week now. Let's check out the stitching on them. I love that kind of seam work. Especially on the cuffs here. That's beautiful. They were originally $9.99 and I offered the seller $8.99 and she counter offered with $7.99 because they're small apparently. Size 6 but they run pretty small. But I don't mind that. We'll see if I can get them on. Like all fine things in life, it just takes time. I suppose with wear, I can break these in. Oh, it's a very, very tight fit. Like, if I have to cut this up and put, like, segments on my OnlyFans, I totally will. Just barely get... <laughs> you can just barely get the rest of my fingers in there. My thumb's, like, more than halfway, maybe, like, three quarters. I really don't want to pull on these too much, though. Oh my. Look at how the cuff flares out a little bit. I love that. That's nice. Puts me in mind of gauntlets. Like the ones I have from Inez. Just a little bit shorter and way, way tighter. index finger. 
I'm going on five minutes now. Wiggle the rest of my thumb in if I can. Okay, that's as good as that's going to get for now. <clears throat> Pretty tight. She was not kidding. I can barely move my hand. need to be able to grip properly. <clears throat> oh yeah, this <laughs> this is going to take even longer. just want to like pause the video for a little bit and wait for the fucking leather to stretch out on my hand and then pull a little bit more I feel like that's the only way I'm going to be able to achieve this with this glove now on my hand and I'm not taking it off right now now that these gloves are on my hand they're probably going to stay on there for the rest of the evening who knows I might even pop on a pair of rubber gloves over the top of them or latex ones and sleep in them just to break them in even more you know I've always had people tell me I should try doing 24 7 in gloves I don't really live alone at the moment so I'd get a lot of questions like why are you still wearing gloves you're not outside it's not that cold in here why not? <laughs> Why not? They're nice. They're tight. They need to be broken in. I really should do a live stream someday. Like take out my entire glove collection and do requests. But the only problem with that is that I only have leather at the moment. I've got probably like 15 pairs of rubber gloves at the moment. And two boxes of disposable gloves. One nitrile box, size medium, can't remember the brand offhand right now, but they're industrial nitrile. Nice shade of dark blue, very smooth. But the only problem is that I have to wear other gloves over the top of, no, I have to wear them over the top of other gloves.
Oh, my thumb's getting a bit sore. It's all good. If I go silent, it's because I'm concentrating. <laughs> really want to get these on. I've been meaning to do this for like... Gee. I ordered these... I think I ordered them on the 3rd and they were supposed to come around the 12th but I ended up getting them either on the 6th or the 7th. don't quite remember which day, I just know it was like a week or two ago. Not a week ago. <laughs> I'm looking at my calendar right now, I don't need to fucking guess. I'll swear and I'll cuss as much as I want in my videos. I don't monetize my videos. So I honestly don't care if YouTube gives me the yellow dolin. This one already feels very nice. I'm sure this one will too as soon as the as soon as the leather breaks in more. But yeah. I plan to never monetize my videos on YouTube. I'd like my videos to be free for all to see without ads. Because I know how annoying those fuckers can be. You ever got an ad? Or two ads? And the first ad is fucking 48 minutes long. And it's unskippable. why I literally only use YouTube on my laptop or my desktop so that I can use fucking adblock like I know people fucking hate adblock but I use it anyway there's very few sites that I whitelist Very tight. Kind of, kind of hurts my finger a little bit. But suck it up, cupcake. I have a bug zapper. It may be January, but I still fucking can't get away from fruit flies. Look at that accented stitching. The accented seam work. I just absolutely love that. Especially here on the cuffs. Very nice. Love how it looks. I love how it feels. Oh, they smell nice too. 
It's been 15 whole minutes and I haven't even smelled the leather yet. It's very nice. It's not too strong, but it's not too light either. Still smells of leather, but aged leather. Not something that's been in a wardrobe for the long for a long time, like decades, but just aged leather. It's really really a soft smell. I love it. About as soft as the gloves are themselves. plan to do some photos with these. They'll be on my Instagram and I'll have bonus photos on my OnlyFans, both of which will be advertised at the end of the video. I still can't quite get my thumb up into the last bit of this. With time, I suppose, but maybe it's just not meant to happen. Not with this pair. Well, not yet. I don't know. We'll see. I just love how stylish and cute these gloves are. I just love that stitching. Everything about these gloves. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My dogs are buttholes. All three of them are literal bitches, but I love them. Hopefully they're not too loud in the background. Yeah, I think that's as good as that's gonna get, sadly. For now, anyway. But, believe you me, I will be wearing these and breaking them in. I love them. Just don't necessarily like how tight they feel at the moment. I mean, tight gloves are good. Don't get me wrong. I love tight gloves. They're basically the only gloves I'll wear. But, when they're so tight that you have trouble getting into them, and you're afraid of the seams popping because your fat ass sausage fingers are like way bigger than the actual glove fingers are. Holy shit, man. But with time, I think they'll stretch out. <clears throat>
Look how noisy they are. You know, that's something I didn't notice until just now. They're noisy. It's not something I see very often with vintage gloves like these. Ah, just absolutely lovely, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully I'll have more coming, my loves.